Calm down, I'm not one of those people that hates all the Sonic characters. I like most of the Sonic cast just fine. I just like to refer to them as Sonic's stupid friends because I think it's funny. And with this video, I want to talk about a particular problem that I've had with the cast of Sonic for a very long time. And if you're a Sonic fan, you'll no doubt be aware that the cast of Sonic has had a number of problems in recent years, like the fact that no character has been playable in, like, any Sonic game for a really long time, or how in all the stories all the characters basically just stand around and do nothing, or how they've all been written very incorrectly and a lot of them have been very out of character for a while. There's been a lot of issues with the Sonic cast for about a decade or so, but those problems are not the problem that I'm going to be talking about in this video. What I'm going to be talking about in this video is a problem that's actually been around for much longer than any of those problems, yet I've not seen pretty much anybody talk about this issue, which is a little weird to me, so I want to highlight it. The issue I want to talk about is how most of the Sonic cast has been frozen in time since, like, the 2000s. What I mean by that is all of the Sonic characters have been completely static from, like, a narrative and storytelling perspective. When you look at most Sonic characters, when they're first introduced, the game that they were introduced in is typically about them in some capacity, and they'll usually have a character arc of some kind. And in many cases, you'll see characters that have multiple arcs game to game. And I really like that. It makes the characters feel alive and dynamic, like they're real people that learn lessons and grow and change. And that's the exact kind of thing I want to see with a long-running series. I want to see these characters develop over time. But inevitably, every Sonic character, eventually their character growth hits a wall and they just stop growing. They stop changing. They just become static characters that are frozen forever in the state that they're currently in. For example, let's look at Tails. In the Sonic 2 manual, it talks about how Tails was originally very timid and had a lot of self-confidence issues. But meeting Sonic, he got inspired and he started to feel more confident in himself and he started to idolize Sonic and trying to be like him. And so that's a little bit of character growth for Tails right there in his debut game. But then in Sonic Adventure, they build on that where now Tails, kind of his idolizing of Sonic is starting to become unhealthy where he relies on Sonic for everything and he feels like he can't do anything on his own. He needs Sonic there to guide him. And then that develops into a character arc for him where he learns to have confidence in himself. And then that all crescendos with Sonic Adventure 2, where now Tails has grown to the point where when Sonic thinks he's going to die, he asks Tails to handle things for him. And to Tails, this is a really big moment. It's Sonic asking Tails to do something for him. It's a demonstration of the fact that Sonic has confidence in Tails that he can get things done. And Tails wants to live up to Sonic's expectations. And because of the confidence building that he's had in previous games, he thinks he can do it. And that is some very nice character growth over time for Tails. This is a completely different place than his character was in when he was first introduced as the shy, timid little kid that got bullied for having two Tails. But then, after Sonic Adventure 2, Tails doesn't grow or develop any more at all in any Sonic game. I guess he does a little bit in Sonic Riders with his conflict with Wave, but that's it. Other than that, Tails is a completely unchanging character for the rest of the Sonic series. He continues to show up in many Sonic games, but he's just there just because. He's not contributing anything meaningful to the story. He's not having his own story. He's just the tech guy that's there to build the gadgets and fly the planes or whatever. And that's it. That's all his character has been reduced to. In fact, in some instances, Tails' character is regressed, like Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Forces, where now he's being all cowardly and stuff, and it's like, this doesn't- wait, what? This doesn't match with the Tails that we've seen grow from Sonic Adventure 2, what's happening? And that's more of an issue of what I was saying before about characters not being entirely written correctly, but the point remains that Tails as a character has not grown or developed whatsoever since Sonic Adventure 2. And this exact same thing has happened to literally every single Sonic character, like Knuckles as well, has not changed since Sonic Adventure 2. In fact, he's regressed as well because they completely eliminated the whole Knuckles-Rouge relationship thing from that game in recent games. 
Shadow was a character that had tons of character growth and development from SA2 all the way up to 06. He was a very dynamic character that changed a lot over many games, but then after Sonic 06, he has been frozen in time. And again, he's also been written out of character where he doesn't even match with his previous incarnation. Blaze, she had a great little character arc in Sonic Rush when she was first introduced, and they did a little bit of extra character development for her in Rush Adventure, but then she's just been stuck like that ever since. Or Silver, the only character development he's ever gotten was in Sonic 06. He's been completely stuck as the exact same character since then. I think probably the most tragic character to suffer from this is Metal Sonic, because they had the really interesting direction that they took his character in in Sonic Heroes, where he has like an identity complex and hating the fact that he's a copy of Sonic and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, that's really cool. That's really interesting. Where are we going to go with this with his character? And the answer is nowhere, because we're going to remove that from his character. And nowadays, Metal Sonic is just Eggman Robot, and that's it. He has no personality anymore. Now, Sonic, he has always, from the very beginning, been a static character, but I think that's perfectly fine for Sonic, because Sonic is the catalyst for change in other characters. Sonic is that unwavering beacon of good that teaches other characters lessons and helps them have character arcs. So for Sonic, I'm fine with him being a static character. In fact, I like him being a static character. I want him to be a static character. I think that's the best way to use his character. But all the other Sonic characters, there's no point in Sonic being static for other characters to grow from if they are not growing anymore, if they are not changing. All the other characters have just become these kinds of caricatures of themselves, where, like, Tails' character now is that he's Sonic's friend and he's smart. Knuckles' character now is he's the guy who punches things. Amy's character is she's there. And I think this is a horrible way to handle these characters. Like, if you ask me, if you're not going to do anything with these characters, then you might as well not have them in the Sonic games. Like, so many people these days have been complaining about how most characters haven't even been in a lot of Sonic stuff, but I'm like, you know what, that's fine. If you're not going to do anything with the character, I'd rather them just not be there. Because the alternative to that is stuff like Sonic Generations and Sonic Forces, where the characters do show up, but they all just stand around and do literally nothing the entire story. And this is the problem that I really want to see the Sonic series address. I don't want to see more of the Sonic characters. I want to see the Sonic characters actually grow and continue to evolve and stop being trapped in this limbo state that they've been in for fucking who knows how long. Just the characters being present in Sonic stories and in Sonic games and doing something, I don't care about that. I don't want to see these characters destroying Eggman robots or whatever. I want to see these characters being alive and feeling like real characters again. Not that every single character in every single story needs to somehow have some kind of character arc or growth or something. It's fine to have characters that are just there to serve the plot sometimes. But the issue is that every Sonic character has been like that in every Sonic game for so long. And that makes these characters boring, because I know that nothing that ever happens in a Sonic story is ever going to have any kind of meaningful impact. This is one of my biggest problems with the IDW comics. None of the game characters ever have any character arcs there, because they can't, because that would make the characters change, and we can't have that. The new characters are allowed to have that, but clearly the game characters are not allowed to have character arcs. And to me, that makes everything that happens in the comics seem utterly pointless. And I think this is part of the reason I enjoyed Sonic Prime so much, because I was watching Sonic Prime and I was like, Oh my god, character arcs, can you believe it? It's like a real story with real characters. Holy shit, I never thought I'd see that in Sonic again. And here's the thing, I don't at all think that this is some sort of accidental coincidence where the writers of the Sonic games just weren't really thinking about it and they didn't realize that nothing's been going on with the characters. I think this has been a very intentional choice that they've made that they want the Sonic characters to be static and kind of just be a certain way and that's just how they are forever. Like, they kind of seem to be treating the Sonic characters like they want them to be like Mario characters. You know, Mario characters 
they're not even really characters. They're kind of just like personality types represented in a character. Like Wario, he's not a character. He's just greedy and raunchy and crude and all that stuff. And that's who Wario is. He's just the personification of all these nasty personality traits. And that's what makes him fun. And that's fine for Mario, that works for that, because those characters have always been that way. None of them have ever been real characters, they've always just been simple caricatures for people to latch onto. But the Sonic characters, they're not like that, they used to be real characters. And Sega or Sonic Team's effort to try to push them into that caricature direction it feels like a betrayal of what these characters were, because these are not shallow, one-dimensional, simple characters that are just a personality put into a character. But that is exactly what they have seemingly been trying to turn many of the Sonic characters into, and it's fucking awful. The Sonic series is, or I guess at least was, a real world with real, living, breathing characters. And they have tried to undo that for some reason when that's one of the best aspects of the Sonic series. There's a reason people talk so much about Tails' character growth over the first few games or Shadow's arc in Sonic Adventure 2 and all that kind of stuff. It's because that's the shit that people connect to, because that's what makes a compelling story. Character arcs are one of the most basic, fundamental aspects of storytelling, and for some reason, it has been something that the Sonic series has just refused to touch for a very long time. I mean, not completely. Like, in Sonic Lost World, they tried to give Sonic a character arc, but that's actually a case where I think you shouldn't do that. Sonic should not have character arcs. And then in Forces, they tried to do a thing, I think, where the Avatar character had a character arc, but that doesn't really work because that's a nothing player insert character, so no, don't do that. And Frontiers has actually seemingly attempted to address this kind of thing a little bit because Sage had a character arc in that game, and that's good. Her character arc didn't really work very well, in my opinion, but at least they tried something. And they even tried having character arcs with the other characters, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy. Although I think their character arcs weren't very good in that game, but that's a story for another time. The point is, I am so tired of the status quo that so many Sonic characters have been trapped in for like the past two decades. I want to see things happen with these characters. I want to see this series progress forward. I want to see change. I want to see growth. I want to see the relationship between Knuckles and Rouge that was teased in Sonic Adventure 2. I want to see that go somewhere. I want to see Sonic become more comfortable with Amy and not be weirded out and uncomfortable around her all the time, instead of just rewriting the characters to just make them that way. I want to see Metal Sonic's existential crisis and hatred of Sonic go somewhere. I want to see Blaze develop more as a character. I want to see the reunion of Blaze and Cream. I want to see Silver do anything but come back to the past to try to save the future. I want to see Shadow's character develop and his relationships with Rouge and Omega. Something, anything, I want something to happen in this universe. The main reason that I hate this static bullshit that we've been stuck with for so long is because I see so much potential in this series and in these characters for so much great storytelling, and they're just not capitalizing on any of it. They'd much rather do nothing with these characters, and it's so baffling to me. I hope maybe one day things can change and the characters can stop being held back, and maybe that's already started to happen with Frontiers. Uh, who knows? I guess we'll see in the future. And if they do start to move forward with the characters, I hope that they do it well. That's another important factor here, and I don't know if I have confidence in them to do it well, but uh, I guess we'll just have to see. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.